Across London on 1450 AM and DAB, smart speaker, mobile app, and likearadio.com. This is Like a Radio. From the Sky News Centre at nine, a member of Rishi Sunak's top team insists the Prime Minister did not intervene in Boris Johnson's honours list. The issue was discussed by the two men during a meeting nine days ago. Several reports claim the former PM's allies blamed Downing Street for some Tory MPs not appearing on the published peerages list, despite them being nominated. Energy Secretary Grant Shapp says a Commons Commission might have changed it before the PM signed it off. Number 10's actually published the, the details, you can see that Rishi did not change that list at all. The House of Commons Commission will have made all of those decisions and the Prime Minister has not intervened in any way. At the end of what's been a historic season, Manchester City boss Pep Guardiola admits it was a huge relief to finally win the Champions League. They previously came close and have now joined rivals Man United in completing a famous treble. They enjoyed a 1-0 win over Inter Milan in the final in Istanbul. Guardiola says he's had great backing from his board. Normally when you don't get the Champions League after many minutes, you are being sacked. So how many clubs just for not winning this competition destroy the projects and this club, the strongest this club is the non-winning that everyone say you have to win it, you have to win it. They were there, they were there to continue to do it. City's defender Manuel Akanji appraising his boss. Obviously I haven't had all of them but the, the way he, he improves us every week, he gives us new, new ideas. So yeah, for me it's a, it's a, it's a great feeling to get better every, every day. Donald Trump's called charges against him over his handling of secretive documents, horrific abuses of power. The classified files allegedly include details about the US nuclear program. Labour's calculated the average homeowner is forking out an extra £150 a week on their mortgage. It's blaming Conservatives' decisions in September's mini-budget. And crews are tackling a wildfire near Inverness which has burned through the night. It reportedly covers an area a mile long. That's the latest. I'm Laura Safe. Have you ever wondered what it's like to win big on the National Lottery? Just to confirm, are you somewhere you're able to talk at the moment? Yes, we're at home. Lovely. I've just checked the ticket and I can confirm you are now millionaires. No! Yes! And how much have we won? A million pounds! Imagine that. It could be you. The National Lottery. Rules and procedures apply. Players must be 18 or over. Winner of Radio Station of the Year at the Asian Media Awards. Leica Radio, London. Leica Radio Weather. Today's weather, sunny and light winds in London and surrounding areas. Top temperature, 29 centigrade. Sunset is at 9.17 p.m. Like a radio. Like a radio. Flight updates are brought to you by travelup.com. Flights, hotels, and holidays. Let's go for a flight update. All flights are as scheduled, but please check with your flight operators before heading to the airport. Flight updates were brought to you by travelup.com. Lowest prices are guaranteed only when you book directly through travelup.com. Call 0207 580 5000. Talking points with Keith Vaz. Celebrating diversity. Leica, London. Leica Radio. Good morning and welcome to the 164th edition of Talking Points on Leica Radio with me, Keith Thaz. Happy birthday this week to Jaginda Sanger and today, happy birthday to Nadmi Auchi. I hope you have had a wonderful time listening to Sunday Soothers this morning. I certainly feel very soothed. Let's go around the world to get some of the top stories of the week. There are still many unanswered questions on what exactly led to the deadly multiple train collision in India last week. On Friday, evening when at least 275 people and over 800 people were injured. As we know, two express passenger trains and a freight train were involved in a three-way accident near a small station in the eastern state of Odisha, according to media reports. A natural weather event known as El Nino has begun in the Pacific Ocean and it's likely to add heat to our planet, which is already warming under climate change. Experts say it will likely make 2024 the world's hottest year. They fear it will help push the world past a key 1.5 centigrade warning milestone. It will also affect world weather, potentially bringing drought to Australia, more rain to the southern USA and weakening India's monsoon. 
In our Inventor series, we ask the question, who invented the first umbrella and when? The first umbrellas are believed to have come from China and date back as far as 3500 BC. They were made out of bamboo sticks with animal skin stretched across them and they offered protection from the sun and the rain. Do you recognize that song? That is one of the most famous tunes ever played on British television. And that is the theme from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. One of my special guests today, in fact, my first special guest, was a contestant on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Ganesh Kapola is also a motivational speaker, mentor, and a tax expert. He's going to be talking to us from Dagenham. From Dagenham, we're going to go over to Mumbai and talk to my next special guest, Anupriya Naga, who designed and implemented a virtual stock exchange program and also had an art exhibition at the age of only 11 years. A child prodigy, she's now a student at the famous Bath University. Today is the 36th anniversary of my election to Parliament on the 11th of June 1987. Gosh, how time flies. We had a bit of a party organised by the community for me in Leicester last night. So a big thank you to Joggy and the Portuguese community that took the lead. Thank you for your good wishes and it just doesn't feel like 36 years. To open the programme, let's hear one of those songs from that era. One of my favourites, the first Hindi movie that I ever saw. Dum Maro Dum. Keith Vaz, celebrating diversity. Leica, London.
Welcome back. This is Keith Vaz on Talking Points on Like a Radio. I hope you enjoyed the music. My special guest on the program today is Ganesh Kapala. He's a motivational speaker, a mentor, and a community leader. Currently, he chairs the Rotary Club of Stratford. In his previous role as a senior analyst at Deloitte of India, Ganesh was responsible for tax analysis and development of tax-related issues. Ganesh also is a consultant engaged in corporate finance and project management. He has the advantage of working in multiple tax jurisdictions, including the Americas and the Middle East. He's actually also a former contestant for Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? What an experience. Let's go over to Dagenham in East London and talk to Ganesh Kupala. Good morning, Ganesh. Good morning, Keith. How are you? Uh, I'm very well. You seem to have a passion for tax. Most of us, our eyes glaze over when we hear the word tax and auditing. When did this uh, particular passion come about? So I grew up as a student. and I'm a commerce graduate. So I studied taxes in my life. That's how it started. Then, you know, converted that into the profession. So that's how it became my passion. Mm. Now, through your journey, you've worked for many, many companies, some of the top-notch companies all over the world. You're still giving consistency consultants advice to clients for these companies what's it like being in high finance for someone of indian origin it must be different from when you first started when this was a rarity but now it's pretty commonplace isn't it to find a people of indian origin both who happen to be Americans or British, doing extremely well in the corporate world. So it's been very nice, Keith, to be honest, uh, because I've held uh, very good positions in various organizations till now, and, and not only in uh, UK, when I was in US as well previously, and as you mentioned, in various other global regions as well. So it, it was being kind, very welcoming, and uh, they always gave me right opportunity at the right time. I think it's it's all about the skill that you have, which represents yourself as an individual. And, you know, the, the corporates would, would appreciate your skill skill set and and they would give you opportunities so it, it's been it's been amazing experience by far mm. i did have great you know reception from across the world now we're both on like a radio which is um, a program that has a lot of young people who listen to what we have to say and listen to the music of this uh, station what's your advice to someone who wants to get involved in the uh, field of finance and tax because this is a very popular profession isn't it for young asian people you're right so my single point of advice would be to kind of be client centric so whosoever you're serving to make sure you are you're doing your best and consider it to be a, like if if tax and finance is your passion you know learn more and more and think it from the you know user's perspective most of the time and uh, make sure you're actually giving the best uh, that works for for both governments and also the uh, your audience and, and the clients so just keep your client as your priority and you know work with, with their values those are the two key important factors to be successful. This is Keith Vaz on Talking Points on Like a Radio. We're having a very interesting conversation with Ganesh Kapula, the, a motivational speaker, mentor, tax specialist, and also a contestant on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, which is something I have always wanted to do. Join me after the break when we'll be exploring some more issues with him. <laughs>
Sriram brings you the most loved Indian sweets which are freshly made in UK. Now order your favorite Haldiram products online only on haldiramuk.com. Also available at your local Asian store at super special prices. Man Travel. Comfort the kaham, dhyan rakhenge. Oji choices ka bhi man rakhenge. Cheap fares ka dhyan rakhenge. Ab kaham man rakhenge. Man travel time is flying let's fly too just call 02080999900 har trip mein aapka maan rakhenge man travel bol de punjab di pehchan punjabi sangeet da ek uchcha naam ranjit baba dream chasers management presents the return of the punjabi superstar singer ranjit baba Performing live across the UK on 9th of June at Demont Fort Hall, Leicester. On 11th June at Civic Hall, Wolverhampton. On 18th June at Indigo at the O2 London. Tickets on sale at dcmgmt.co.uk. Exclusive radio partner like a radio. Are you fair? Ranjit Bawa no milan. Gujarat. Red Lotus Events brings to you Rangilu Gujarat Culture Fest from the 1st to the 3rd of September. An extravaganza celebrating culture and heritage of being Gujarati with music, handicrafts, open air garba, kite flying, Indian street food, outdoor cinema, workshops and so much more. For store bookings, visit rangilugujarat.com. Exclusive radio partner, Like a Radio. आजकल सड़कों के हैं चर्चे हर जबान पर सड़कों माइक्रोवेव फूड कंटेनर के जल में है हर तरफ हर जगह सिर्फ सच को दिखे चीजें ताजा रखे और ज्यादा टिके इसलिए सड़कों पे हर किसी की नजर जहाँ जिंदगी वहाँ सड़कों माइक्रोवेव फूड कंटेनर्स समर आया तो पिंड वैली की वरियाली चाहिए एंजॉय योर फेवरेट मॉकटेल्स दिस समर विथ पिंड वैली डॉट कॉम समर प्रमोशन ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ किचन फर्नीचर एंड अ फ्री कुक अटैप गेट स्टार्टेड ऑन योर न्यू किचन विद अर्बन इंटीरियर समर किचन प्रमोशन प्लेस एन ऑर्डर ऑन योर ड्रीम किचन बिफोर द एंड ऑफ जून एंड विल गिव यू ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ ऑन ऑल किचन फर्नीचर परचेज प्लस अ फ्री कुक अटैप टू एड स्टाल एंड कन्वीनियंस टू योर कलरी स्पेस बट हरी दिस प्रमोशन एंड ऑन जून दर्टी सो डोट मिस आउट ऑन दिस फैंटेस्टिक ऑफर गेट इन टच विद अस फॉर मोर डिटेल्स और टू डिस्कस योर प्रोजेक्ट टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन अप्लाई ऑफर वैलिड ऑन क्वालिफाइंग Purchases made by the 30th of June 2023. Offer cannot be combined with any other promotions or discounts. That's the sound of the rave reviews pouring in for Manoj Bajpai's. Sirf ek banda kafi hai. DNA's review goes: This movie is smartly written and brilliantly acted. While India TV expresses: This movie is hard hitting and eye opening. Acclaimed as one of the best courtroom dramas till date, the movie has made it to IMDb's top 250 highest-rated Indian movies list. Sirf ek banda kafi hai. Streaming now only on Z5 in Hindi, Telugu, and Tamil. It's summer, summer, summer time, summer, summer time. It's summer. And summer would not be the same without ice cream. So head on down to your local Scoop Herb branch and pick up your favourite flavour today. Scoop Herb in Alberton, Basingstoke, Croydon, Hounslow, Rainers Lane, Watford, and Southampton. The personalities that matter with Keith Vaz on Talking Points. Like a radio. Keith Vaz on Talking Points. Like a. Welcome back. This is Keith Vaz on Talking Points on Like a Radio. I'm talking to Ganesh Kapula, a motivational speaker, mentor, and tax. specialist ganesh one of your big claim to fame so my 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 put it like this is that you were a contestant on the south indian version of who wants to be a millionaire is that the same kind of format as the format we saw and we see in mumbai or in london it is the same format keep similar to you know you have to go through various rounds of interviews and then hit the fastest finger first and then you will be onto the hot seat so that's the same format and it's it's a very rigorous process so it's it's an amazing experience i'm chosen to be on the top 10 from 
1.6 million people entries so that's quite a journey and then we would have uh, close to 7 to 8 rounds of various levels of interviews like written test you are you have to appear in front of the producers to do the you know the screening test and all that stuff so it's oh, really? a very rigorous interview process yeah i thought it was just out of a hat you have to go through all that just to get onto the tv is that right yeah yeah <laughs> Oh my goodness. And presumably there was no coughing uh, when you gave the answers as there was for that famous case when uh, uh, the man won a million because you did quite well. You got 11 out of 15 questions. What was the question that stumped you? Uh the the question that stumped me was a question related to the Kashmir and Goa uh, issue in terms of the, you know, how many number of years they can choose to be legislative assembly members for because they are very specific states in India and they have special regulations and all. So that was the question that stumped me. I, I was actually hanging between kashmir and goa so yeah <laughs> not a nice place to be in terms yeah. of international <laughs> politics hanging between kashmir yeah. and goa now one of your yeah. great strengths is as a motivational speaker and as someone who gives life coach advice to people tell me the kinds of people who motivated you because a lot of people think that they can achieve things in life without having mentors and coaches but if you have a coach if you have someone who is on your back telling you what to do and reminding you about how good you are that's really important isn't it it is it is indeed very important so actually uh, just to give a quick background on that i grew up as an orphan right so my life uh, actually has taught me a lot it's a big motivation to me and the reason i, I pick up this uh, being a motivation speaker and a mentor as well is to kind of inspire orphans like me as well so while i was a, as a kid struggling through the tough road of my life because i had really really rough childhood and one of the you know uh, extended relatives of mine my grandmother who inspired me a lot she actually inspired me to kind of dream big mm. and abdul kalam you probably know a famous scientist from india mm. his book wings of fire and you know his his various books inspired me a lot to be where i am today because uh, being an orphan uh, it's a very tough world and you know to get to where i am today it is a very tough journey so the i did have this inspiration coming from elders and especially abdul kalam yeah was my biggest motivation yeah and you've given that life journey which was tough for you without uh, your parents you've given that to other people through motivation i mean we've just witnessed some amazing football matches where coaches like david moyes pep guardiola and others have inspired their teams to do incredible things uh, we in leicester uh, have had our own share of victory with claudio ranieri that gives you that extra mile to take you beyond what everyone else is doing yeah. what advice would you give to our listeners who don't have the benefit of someone like you who you have to do it on their own how do you keep yourself going when there's nobody chirping in your ear do this do that do that do this i think uh, the biggest achievement or the motivation for anyone in any field for that matter is basically to believing in yourself because the world the universe have given us so much of strength for each individual and every individual in this world is very special and the most of the times you most of the people fail in in their fields of wherever they work is because of the fear of judgment and fear of failure right all that you have to do is just do your work and focus on your work and then let the results be whatever it is you don't have to really worry about the results all that is you should be worried about is the process and how much you can give it to the process that's would be my key advice to any individual or especially being in you know in your younger age don't be worried about your judgments around you don't be worried about the results that are going to come and hit you just focus on your process that's very important mm. Well, Ganesh Kapoor, it's been a pleasure talking to you and listening to your words of wisdom that have taken you to where you are today. Thank you for joining us. We always ask our special guests to choose a song that means something special to them and to dedicate it to someone special. Which song would you like to choose and to whom would you like to dedicate it to? Probably this is not a surprise, but I love this song from Slumdog Millionaire, Jay Ho, and <laughs> uh, the lyrics specifically, you know, where it it does tell you about even if you're coming from darkness, you can still see the light and achieve bigger stuff. That's what inspires me the most from that song, mm. and I would love to to dedicate this to every orphan in this world who don't have the parents. Mm. And don't worry, we can still achieve bigger stuff and I'm your example. I'm one of the many examples. I'm sure we can do it. So there's a lot of bigger field for us to play and win. Let's go ahead and win the world. That's what my message to everyone. It's yeah. a wonderful message. Thank you for joining us today. You've really inspired us with your words and have a great Sunday. Thank you very much Keith for bringing me on to this program today. I appreciate this opportunity and the best wishes to listeners of Like Radio. Let's hear Ganesh Kupala's song. <laughs> ja 
आजा जिंद शामी आने के तले हैं आजा जरी वाले नीले आजमाने के तले हैं आजा आजा जिंद शामी आने के तले हैं आजा जरी वाले नीले आजमाने के तले हैं by travelup.com our lowest prices are guaranteed only when you book directly through travelup.com or call 0207 580 5000 like a radio traffic and travel I'm Michael Page. In West London, the M4 Heathrow Spur is still queuing heading into the airport. In Hounslow, Vicarage Farm Road remains blocked both ways because of an accident between Cranford Lane and the crossways. It's getting busy on the North Circular between Ealing Common and Gunnersbury Park because of temporary lights. And in Neasden, Tudor Gardens is still closed both ways for a police investigation between Salmon Street and St Andrew's Church. On the tubes, the Bakerloo line currently isn't running between Harrow and Wheelstone Stonebridge Park because of power supply problems. And a points failure means the overground still isn't running between Wandsworth Road and Clapham Junction. And that's the latest traffic and travel. Carl! 
What are you doing? What's that, Sergey? What are you doing? Just mowing the lawn. I've already got rid of those hideous weeds. Oh, they're not weeds. They're flowers. I can't hear you, bro, but watch out. I'm just getting the rest of them. My delphiniums. <laughs> My rhododendrons. See you later, weeds. My award-winning hydrangeas. <laughs> Don't wombat it. Meerkat it. Simples. <laughs> this is like a radio. Sasti se sasti flights or holiday package chahiye to 2400 ghante sato din kisi bhi samay travel hub ka number milaiye for the cruise dinner made holiday hotel bookings and honeymoon packages hum se sasta kahi nahi mil sakta call travel hub 247 or 02087828833 or visit travelhubltd.co.uk travel hub best service with unbeatable price at all protected visit travelhubltd.co.uk Hira Foods bringing you authentic eastern flavors with a huge selection of products including spices, grains, lentils, rice, flours, pickles, sauces, nuts and ready to eat meals. Hira Foods, king in quality, king in taste. Jai Shri Swami Narayan. The Ratha Yatra Utsav is back on Sunday 18th June. Is din hazaron shraddhaluon ke saath aap bhi Hero aur Brent ki sadkon par Bhagwan Jagannath ji ke rath ko khinchne ka avsar prapt kar sakenge. The route will begin from Dharma Bhakti Manor, Stanmore Temple and finish at SKSS Temple Canton Hero. Please visit the temple social media and their websites SKSST all and swami narayan satsang.com like a gold exclusive media partner live from rath yatra get the exotic feel of summer with pind valley's popular range of thirst quenching desi mocktails including kesar anjeer lemon pudina kala khatta gulab gulkand kashmiri gulab and pan pasand flavors among many others welcome summer 2021 with a taste of the pind available at all asian grocery shops visit pindwali.com or call 02081065716 Sahaja Ayurvedic Herbal Medicine Consultation Center Hum hamare khandan se nadi dekh ke sabhi samasyaon ke liye jadi butiyon ki dawai dete hain Asthma allergies skin problems psoriasis kamar ya ghutnon mein dard arthritis hair problem gas trouble ulcers ladies problem weight loss sexual problems contact Vaidya Ratnam PV Raj 499 High Road Wembley or call 07341 9543 3510734195435 Welcome aboard the Z5 Entertainment Express. First stop, Manoj Bajpayee's biggest blockbuster of 2023. Sirf ek banda kaafi hai. We've now arrived in the south. Vijay Sethupathi's action saga, Vidutalai Part 1, is available in Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam and Kannada. There's also the Telugu legal suspense series, Vyavastha. Last stop, UK. Here you'll find Sunil Grover's hit comedy series, United Kacche. Step into the Z5 Entertainment Express for the best South Asian stories. Get 50% off the Z5 premium annual plan today. Explore UK and Europe with Star Tours from Paris to Scotland, Cornwall to Switzerland. Call Star Tours now on 0208 900 2323 or visit startours.co.uk. Star Tours. Talking points with Keith Vaz celebrating diversity. Leica London. Welcome back. This is Keith Vaz on Talking Points on Leica Radio from East London. Let's go over to Mumbai in India and talk to my second special guest, Anupriya Nagar, who is currently doing her BSc Ons at the University of Bath. She is an economist, but she's something of a child prodigy. She grew up with her stunning artworks all across her house. Anupriya's feelings are that walls were designed to be used to display paintings rather than to support the roof. 
Even the TV space in her house was taken over by artwork. She held her first art exhibition at the age of 11 when we were first coming to terms with buying our comics. The news of Salvatore Mundi being sold at Christie's in 2017 for $450 million filled her mind with questions about why someone would want to buy a piece of artwork for that price. She realized that its uniqueness and rareness created a perfect wave to drive prices up. Currently, she holds the position of treasurer in the Finance Society and chair of Raise and Give Bath Society, a charitable foundation. Let's go over to Mumbai and talk to Anupriya Naga. Good afternoon, I should say to you. Anupriya, it's still morning in Canary Wharf, but it's afternoon there. Good afternoon, Keith, and Namaste, London. Thank you for the lovely introduction. I'm so grateful and even more excited for our talk today. Anupriya, at the Jamnabai Narasi School in grade 12, you showed your interest not just in respect of art, but also in respect of financial services, because you and your team of colleagues at the school designed and implemented a virtual stock exchange program for teenagers to understand the concept of securities investment and the financial markets. Why did you get involved in that particular project when clearly art is the thing for you? Right. Thank you for your question. You know, to keep myself engaged during COVID, I took my brother's help initially to open my DMAC account to handle securities. In school, I learned a lot about different types of shares and bonds. But, you know, my favorite bond was always James Bond. I was clueless then as to what factors to consider before making investments. Mm. That is when I came across Youth Stock Exchange, which allowed participants to invest virtual money mm. on the basis of various situations in a less boring manner, I promise. Mm. Now, we're going to come on to talk about your paintings in the next uh, section of our interview. But I have to pick you up on the James Bond issue. You're a Bond supporter. So which of the James Bond characters, which of the people who play James Bond would you like to have dinner with? Danny Craig, of course. <laughs> Without that, a doubt. Is that as he emerges from the sea in his swimming trunks, do you think? Um. Well, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> now, going back to technology and stock exchange and, and issues of that kind, you've been introduced to blockchain technology under Viacom. Tell us a bit about what that actually means, because that sounds like a different language. Blockchain technology under Viacom. What is that? I mean, as you said, it wasn't that easy for me. And to be very honest, blockchain sounds like someone's getting chained. Well, India, though a developing country, is still old school and not open to this new jargon yet. And as part of my internship at YCOM 18, I was introduced to blockchain technology. So without a thought, I chose to research the art market. I love the whole concept of the non-fungible tokens. Uh, well, today, anyone can possess a part of Leonardo da Vinci or Raphael which wasn't possible before this technology was introduced. An average art lover could have never dreamt of masterpieces in his life like this. And today's audience has to break the inhibition of exploring not only digital art, but I feel also the NFT options. But I would also want to dwell deeper into this technology mm. as I feel like this is the ultimate future. This is Keith Vass on Talking Points on Like a Radio. I'm having a fascinating conversation with the child prodigy Anupriya Naga, a commerce student, leader, spokesperson, researcher, analyst, and also someone who has had her own art exhibition at the age of only 11. What an achievement. Why don't you just have a little cup of tea and join us after the break?
Kira Foods, bringing you authentic Eastern flavors with a huge selection of products including spices, grains, lentils, rice, flowers, pickles, sauces, nuts and ready-to-eat meals. Kira Foods, king in quality, king in taste. Get ready. Atif Aslam is back. Atif Aslam, live on Sunday the 11th of June at the Ovo Arena Wembley. Tickets on sale now. Book online at ovoarena.co.uk and video Rama on 0208-907-0116. Book now to avoid disappointment. Royal announcement by Royal Chai. Chai is loved by all and so is coffee. Here's presenting a brand new coffee latte in three different and delectable concoctions. Enjoy the royal blend and aroma of coffee in masala, cardamom and garak flavors. Taste the coffee latte with a quirk by Royal Chai. Now available at all major retailers. Tickets to India, UK and Europe say India ki flights and hotels ki bahut badiya deals ke liye call 020-8518-9100 or book online tickets to india.co.uk bringing India closer. Om Sai Ram, Shirdi Sai Baba and Shakti Temples need your generous support to secure new premises for a Shirdi Sai Baba temple. We need support to provide our current services and more like day centers for the elderly Hindu festivals throughout the year, bhajans and satsang and much more. Please donate Kiche. Join us in shaping the future. Donate today. Visit lester.shiddesai.org.uk and make a meaningful impact. Call 0116-367-1833 or 0208-902-2311 for more details. That's the sound of the rave reviews pouring in for Manoj Bajpai's Sirf Ek Banda Kafi Hai. DNA's review goes, this movie is smartly written and brilliantly acted. While India TV expresses, this movie is hard-hitting and eye-opening. <laughs> Acclaimed as one of the best courtroom dramas till date, the movie has made it to IMDb's top 250 highest rated Indian movies list. Sirf Ek Banda Kafi Hai, streaming now only on Z5 in Hindi, Telugu and Tamil. It's summer, summer, summer time, summer, summer time. It's summer! And summer would not be the same without ice cream. So head on down to your local Scoop Herb branch and pick up your favourite flavour today. Scoop Herb in Alberton, Basingstoke, Croydon, Hounslow, Rainers Lane, Watford and Southampton. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. Please let us know if you have any questions. P&R Travel in Luton are specialists in tailor-made, bespoke, honeymoon, anniversary, multi-centres, package holidays all over the world and offer discounted fares worldwide. Contact P&R Travel for your best holiday on 01582 421 421. Atoll and IATA protected. Keith Vaz on Talking Points, Leica. Welcome back. This is Keith Vaz on Talking Points on Leica Radio. I'm having a very interesting conversation indeed with Anupriya Naga. Anupriya, you chose to come and study in the UK. There's an ongoing debate about overseas students in the United Kingdom at the moment. You've gone to study at one of the top universities in the world. Bath is one of those universities that people really want to go and study at. But you had a choice. You could have gone to Stanford. You could have gone to Harvard, you could have gone to Australia. Why did you choose to study at Bath? Why did you come to the UK? Why do you think Indian students want to come here? Oh, well, I personally believe that uh, definitely the studies in the UK is so advanced and as I've already finished my first year at Bath, I feel the way UK uses technology and new ways to teach students has changed so much compared to India and compared to Stanford and stuff like that. I was always drawn to UK for some reason or the other, probably because of the way they teach, the pattern of the papers or something like that. And definitely the course of economics in Bath is very well known. And Bath was the University Mm. of the Year um, in 2023. So I chose Bath instantly when I got the offer from there. It is an amazing place to study. There's no doubt about that. But I'm going to take you back to when you were 11. So taking you from Bath back to school, 
school and this mm-hmm. exhibition that you put together. Tell us what kind of paintings you had in this exhibition and why art continues to fascinate you. And I should ask you a third part. It's like an essay question, if you like. If you could claim authorship of one painting in the world which you think, oh gosh, if only I'd painted it, which would that be? Wow. All right. I promise I'm going to answer to all of those questions. So, well, it feels like yesterday I was a part of the exhibition. The exhibition consisted of various paintings, sketches, portraits and pottery. Well, I vividly remember that my Lord Radha Krishna's painting received various praises. Well, keep my passion for art still continues. And as a chair currently, I will use this experience to help artists exhibit their work by providing a platform for them in the Bath Fine Art Society. And I feel like even in my introduction, as you had mentioned, the Salvador Mundi, it is an explicit painting with the crystal ball in the hand and this perspective with which it was painted is phenomenal and I just wish I could have painted like that. Mm. Well, you probably worth quite a lot if you did. Now, my final question uh, concerns the situation in Mumbai. Uh, over a week ago, there was the devastating train crash in Odisha in India. I think all over the world, people send their condolences to Prime Minister Modi and the relatives of those who have died. Mm-hmm. Uh, altogether, around 3,000 passengers travelling on those trains. India is obviously a very big country and rail travel is extremely important. What is the feeling now? I mean, is it still a, an issue that is gripping the, the media in India or is it something that one can experience, tragic though it is, and then move on? Is it, is it a, a regular occurrence or is it pretty rare mm-hmm. to have that, those kind of numbers? I must say it is pretty rare to have something happen like this and there were about 275 lives taken away because of this tragedy. And the Indian Railways is the fourth largest in the world in terms of network. And it is very difficult for me to believe that this happened. And there is an ongoing investigation currently as to what actually happened, if it was a communication issue or it was a technical issue. And they are on it currently. But it is very disturbing as the entire nation as the Indian Railway is the lifeline of millions of people and they use it on a daily basis. And my sincere condolences for the families who have lost their loved ones in the incident. It's it's mm. quite shocking. You're absolutely right. And we all share in that to all the yeah. families of the 275 who died. Anupriya Nagra, it's been an absolute pressure talking to you. Thank you for joining us today. We always ask our special guests to choose a song that means something special to them and to dedicate it to someone special. Which song would you like to choose and to whom would you like to dedicate it to? Oh, well, there are so many wonderful songs, but currently I've been listening to Natu Natu on repeat and I would like to dedicate this to my brother, Arima Nagar, my father, Anshul Nagar, and my dear mom, Namrata Nagar, and of course to all my lovely Lighter listeners and I wish you all have a wonderful morning and I'm already dancing to this song and I hope you will too. I will definitely dance to this song. Unfortunately, at this time in the morning, there's nobody here to (laughs) capture my dancing. My editor is in another booth and I don't think that he can film through toughened glass because they have toughened (laughs) glass in case anyone throws things at the DJs. But it's been a pleasure having you on. Enjoy your Sunday and I look forward to attending one of your great events when you come back to Bath. Thank you very much, Pete, for having me on the program today and best wishes to all the listeners of Like Our Radio. Let's hear a new Priya Nagra song and let us all get out of those beds, get out of your seats and dance along to Natu Natu. जैसे धूल उड़ा के सिंग उठा के तुम भी नाचो बाजे जम के ताल ढोल बेट राजू उड़ के नाचो हीरो से भी तेज कोई कर सके जो बेद नाचो अस्तपल में घोड़े जैसे पाक चोर छोड़ नाचो मिट्टी जो तो रोट मोटा मिर्च खा के ऐसे नाचो हाँ जो छोड़े हाँ जो गोरे हाँ जो छोड़े नाचो 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 वीर नाचो
से देखो दंदना के रोगी नाचे शोर सुन लो है धमाका जैसे शेर हाथी नाचे देखो दिल का ये मेला यार अपने साथ नाचो रेडियो के जोरों पे तुम धड़ाक देसी नाचो पसीना माथे का चमके धमके ऐसे नाचो हाँ जा छोरे हाँ जा गोरे हाँ जा छोरे नाचो 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 बीर नाचो 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 यार नाचो 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 आगे बारा राग चेरा नाचो 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 उसने चक्का लगे तीखा नाचो Personalities that matter with Keith Vaz on Talking Points. Like a radio. Time's up for this week. I hope you enjoyed today's program. My thanks to Ganesh Kapula and Anupriya Nagra for joining us from Dagenham and Mumbai today. Special thanks to my producer, Rina, and my editor, Adam. To end today's program, I'm going to be playing out with Yenta Mama, which has had 61 million views on YouTube. Please stay tuned for the wonderful Sheena, who follows the news on Like a Radio, Britain's greatest Asian radio station. This is London, and this has been Talking Points on Like a Radio with Keith Vaz. I hope you have a fabulous Sunday. Yavaru phone chesaru. Apu apu. Airplane mode. Hey, yentamma yentamma sur chedu do mama. Shehnai baje he pe 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 pe. Aho tamak 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 pair music pe chirke. Jhumenge gaenge ham saare milke. Aaj baje chashn wali zor 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 pungi. Hero ju veedu kaga untundi untundi na chenge apni utha kar ke. Ah, 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 ah,